Hello and welcome again. I'm Matt Drury and this is another edition of Critical Mass Extreme right here on DoD TV. We're now five episodes into our latest collaboration with Mossy Oak. We've had two all-star defenders thus far in Steve France and Greg Glessinger. Let's jump right into the extra content from this week's episode of Critical Mass. If you caught this week's episode five of Critical Mass only on Outdoor Channel, you'll know it was one for the history books. Retired Major League Baseball champion Kyle McClellan took the skinning shed in hopes of dethroning our current defender, Greg Glessinger. In Kyle's first attempt to persuade the cast and the MOTV jury, he presented an honorable pass on a nice Midwestern buck just before removing a coyote from his deer herd. As his Mossy Oak gamekeeper spotlight shined through, Kyle geared up to run our Critical Mass Extreme Archery course. Let's see if this old Major League pitcher still has anything left in the tank. Take it away, guys. To complete our Extreme Archery course, our challenger must take aim at four unique targets, all while being shot at by a reigning defender in an attempt to claim the top spot on our Tacticam leaderboard. The timer will stop when they hit the final target. The competitor will have four tries to hit each target. An unsuccessful target attempt will add 10 seconds to their overall time, except for the final shot. The marksman that can thread this needle will actually have 10 seconds removed from their overall time, which makes speed and accuracy crucial to getting ahead. Are you ready? Greg, are you ready? All right, on the count of three. Three, two, one. Let's go, Kyle. Come on down. Now remember, Kyle must hit a target at each stage, all while Greg is aiming for him in an effort to throw off his shots and slow his time. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. After his third shot, Kyle hit the mark and is moving on to the second section of the course. <laughs> Kyle, come on, Greg. Kyle hit the yellow center of the second target and is moving on to the third section of the course. Oh, he's close. 50 seconds! Oh. On his second attempt, Kyle successfully made the shot. Here you go, Kyle! Oh. After hitting all the targets, Kyle ends the extreme archery course with a time of one minute and six seconds. Wow. If you would like to play extreme archery like the Critical Mass cast with your friends and family, check out GlobalArchery.com to find out more about archery tag games and equipment. It's a hit. Your official time was a minute and six seconds. You are now the top dog <laughs> on that Tacticam leaderboard. Nice work there, Kyle. That run undoubtedly catapulted you atop our leaderboard with a solid 40 second margin. Let's join up with our challenger and defender and see what they have to say in this week's extended look at our isolation booth. That was nerve wracking. Oh, it was, wasn't it? I tell you what, though, man, you, you nailed that course, buddy. I got one good shot on you, but that wasn't yeah, enough. I can still feel it, too. <laughs> the footage, man, like, you know, watch your, your footage is beautiful, incredible footage. I hope they don't go off the size of antlers because my size weren't very good, but that moment, man, it's, it's just uh, it's something awesome. we'll relive forever. Yeah, good for you, man. It's awesome to see you bringing the young ones up. Yep, that's cool. It makes it all worth it. A lot of work, you know that. A lot well, of work goes into it, but you got to teach it to the kids. You know, you got to put it in them. No that comes easy, right? No. And what's neat is, is you're truly passionate about it as well. Yeah. You, know, you can see it. As are you. I appreciate that. Everybody on that set. It, yeah, good point. Yeah. Good point. That's why we're here, right? They will. Hard to send somebody home after that. You know what? That's the bad part of this yeah. whole thing. Somebody's got to exit, and it just doesn't seem, doesn't feel right, does it? Nope. All right, well, I, I, I hear him. I think we got to go time back. To go? Yeah, I think it's All time right. to go. Following his course run, Kyle brought a family hunt to the skinning shed. Although a touching story, the cast decided it wasn't enough to propel him ahead of Greg's season. And for the second time, Greg Glessinger found victory in the skinning shed. Due to Kyle's time on the archery course, Greg wasn't able to unlock this hunt on the show. But now you'll get to see it in full right here. In this episode of Critical Mass Extreme, we're tripping down to Argentina with Greg in hopes of harvesting a giant red stag. Can Greg get it done with stick and string in the spring, or will he be forced to resort to his trusty Winchester? Let's take a look. Well, after 30 some odd hours, we finally got to Argentina Algar Safaris, but I have never been to a more beautiful place in the world. They say I'm excited, overlated, can't wait for tomorrow's start. Doesn't even cover it. It's game on now.
the last day. We talk about it all the time. We officially called our, the stag we've been chasing now for four straight days, we officially called him Waldo, because every day we've, the past four days, we come to the same valley and try to find him. So we're going to go after him with the PSC, and if we have to, we're gonna pull out the gun, if need be, if he gets too far. We just can't seem to break that 85 to 105 distance. So whatever opportunity presents us, we're gonna hopefully, uh, hopefully take advantage of. So uh, definitely hopes are high. He's been patterned. Now we just gotta go find him one last day. We got him. We got him, Casey. <laughs> Waldo is down. He is down, baby. Four days of chasing this guy. Four days in the same valley, cat and mouse, for four days with a bow. And finally, it's the last morning of our five day hunt, and we got him. April 4th. Algar Safaris in Argentina chasing Red Stag in April. And here we are with Noel, who's been our guide for five straight days. And we nicknamed this guy Waldo, because for four days we had seven or eight encounters with this guy within 85 and 115 yards and just could not do it. So last night at dinner, we came up with a plan, brought out the rifle, carried both all morning, and said whatever's gonna happen, the opportunity's gonna rise, we're gonna see what we can come up with. And sure enough, he gave us a shot at 200 yards, and now we're sitting in front of a, an unbelievable Red Stag that I really can't put in words. I wish everybody could come out and experience the way we have because it is one amazing place. Thanks, Noel, for hanging in there. Appreciate it, buddy. What a giant animal, Greg. Those red stack roars are some of the most unique sounds I've ever heard. We've hoped you all enjoyed this segment of Critical Mass Extreme. Don't forget to catch the full 30-minute episodes of Critical Mass airing only on Outdoor Channel. Until next week, be safe out there and always remember to identify those hunting targets. For more exclusive Critical Mass content, download the MOTV app on the Apple or Android store today.